I am going to plant a thyme plant. This is our community herb bed. So right now we have tarragon in here, we have sage, we have oregano, we have um, chives, and I'm gonna plant a thyme plant. So most of these are perennials, and that means that they're gonna come back each year in the same spot without me replanting them. So the best way to plant is number one, to get an idea of where you wanna space things to allow enough room for it to grow during the season. And I'm just gonna plant the plant the same depth as it was in the pot. And I'm gonna keep it in the pot until I just go to plant it so that I protect the roots from any wind damage. And if the pot shows me that there's root bound roots here, what I'm gonna do is just gently tease it. This is gonna encourage the roots to now spread out away from the plant and to adapt a lot better into the, the new soil. And then I'm gonna just gently bring the soil around it creating a level surface, gently press it down and make sure there's no air pockets underneath. And then my little trick at the end is to create a circle around each plant. The reason for that is it's gonna create a little trough and this will allow the rain or the water to come in around this little area that I've created and it encourages the roots now to spread out to get to the water because the only nutrition that comes into the plant is through the root system. So when we water it, we want to make sure that we water at the root level and not from above. We don't want to soak the leaves. We want the water to go directly into the roots. So that's how you plant a plant. And I'm just going to move along and put in more thyme plants near it so we'll have a nice cluster of thyme. And again, this is a perennial plant, so it's going to come back every year. The nice thing about that is I only have to plant it once, take care of it and it'll come back next year without any problem. So it's very cost effective to plant herbs. Herbs are a wonderful source of what I call companion planting because they bring a wonderful smell into the garden and that smell actually confuses nearby pests that might be plaguing your tomato plants or your cucumber plants. And the other thing is it brings in beneficial insects. So that will bring in insects that might eat the pest if the pest arrives here. So companion planting is an awesome way to help protect your garden and also putting biodiversity into the soil, thereby creating a stronger soil microorganism underneath. So this one doesn't really have a lot of roots. You can see it's been over water because it's actually falling apart right in my hands. So I'm gonna put that in again, right at the soil level so it doesn't have to be too deep. and my circles. And it's also a good idea to place the tag right near where you planted in case you come back later or even next year and you can't remember what you planted there. So as far as watering stuff goes, yes. now we water today. Yes. How often should we be watering? We would like to water, you would like to get one inch per week. So that's something where you're going to watch the rain on the weather, okay? okay? If it's rain for three days, you don't need to come down and water. However, I want you to come down and look at your plants and see how they look. Do they look like they're overwatered? Okay. What's going on? You know what okay. I mean? Because once we get a lot of water, and sometimes too much water, it's going to invite in pests and disease. And that's not a bad thing. Okay. It means you got to come to the garden and observe. You've got to connect yeah. with those plants. The plants are actually going to tell you what's wrong with them. Okay. What do I do if there's something wrong though? Call, Call you. me. <laughs> Call me I knew that, we'll that was the right answer. And that's what that's what the workshops are all about, so that we can be proactive and get to things before they come become a problem and also help you identify what a problem looks like. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and I have one more plant left to put in here, another rosemary plant. And I'm actually going to plant it right near the rosemary that I did all together so it can be with its buddy and hang out together. So again, I squeeze one end, support the plant as it's coming out. This one's really pretty much root bound. You can see he's been in there for a while, so I'm just gently teasing it. So now it's ready. Place it down. And you can see by the top of this, this has been over fertilized. It's almost got mold growing on it. So it's really important that we get it in the soil and water it appropriately, not over water it. Now, what do you do with the bottoms, all the roots that you have? This has great soil food in it. So I'm gonna put it in our compost pile and that will add to what soil we have for next year. 
So we've got our rosemary, we have a couple of different kinds of thyme in here, we have chives, we have a couple of different kinds of sage, we have tarragon, and um, oregano and spearmint. So we have plenty of herbs to supplement the vegetables that the gardeners will be growing. It's going to be a happy herb bed. Happy gardening.